most of my content will be what's Ramani Huria, why are we mapping Dar es Salaam, mapping process that we have been uh, undertaking, as well as op output of, of the community mapping and raising awareness and resilience in our city. So what's Ramani Huria? Uh, simply, Ramani Huria can be defined as a uh, community-based project that has been training university students as well as community members or community mappers to map their own neighborhoods of the city that have been affected by floods. Uh, but most importantly is to create high accurate uh, and detailed maps of these areas. In general, we have been able to train more than 150 university students, mostly coming from other university and University of Dar es Salaam, uh, with, uh, back, with background in uh, geographical studies as well as urban and regional planning for both of the universities. While for the uh, community mappers, we have been able to map, uh, to train more than 160 uh, community mappers just to give them training on the basics open mapping tools, uh, GIS basic skills, and tools that they really need to uh, in mapping. Uh, the reasons that we map Dar es Salaam is one among the fastest uh, growing city within Africa. So with this uh, growing rate, uh, Dar es Salaam is exposed to informal settlements, which is equivalent to 80% of the info uh, settlements of the city. Uh, is, which leads actually to lack of access to basic uh, services such as water, electricity, and so on. Uh, one among the major uh, effects that can be felt within the city is traffic congestion as well as Dar es Salaam is exposed to natural hazards such as flooding. So this is among the example. Uh, you can see from the picture, one uh, among the words that we mapped, this is the situation not only in Tandare or Kigogo or Magomeni, like most of these words that we have been mapping have same characteristics. So most of the contributing factors to these uh, problems is m just some of them, uh, mainly due to improper solid waste management. You find people are just dumping waste materials within the uh, drains channels. Uh, so when it rains, water is, water is blocked, then spreads to people's residence. Waterways are constricted. People are just building, uh, narrowing the waterways, making them vulnerable to spreading water, uh, and then floods, as well as flood plains built up. So we have uh, most of the valleys, of the river valleys have been built up, uh, which cause, when it rains, when it floods, it cause these buildings to get flooded and then cause the effect to the people around. So the real reason that we are, we are mapping is first to support risk awareness activities concerning urban uh, flooding of the city, uh, such as enabling hazard and risk analysis through the use of inner safe software as well as flood modeling. Uh, the second one is to improve understanding in urban and infrastructure to inform maintenance as well as planning. As I've just said, most of the settlements within the city are an informal settlements, more than 80%. Uh, the other one, which is like side effect of what we are doing, is building local capacity to the local people that we are training, that we are engaging, that have been uh, collecting this information, the people that have been making these maps, of which these are university students, plus mainly the community mappers of the words that have been mapping. So just to summarize the mapping process, the first one is to conduct opening community forum uh, where we engage with the local community members as well as the local officials. We have the wide executive officers. We had the MTA or subwide executive officers that are coming to this like a way, small community. Uh, so the main reason for this is for us and for each and everyone to get the profile of the ward, like where it floods, where are the places that uh, we have rivers that cause problems, uh, where are the places that we have these buildings be being affected with their flood. Uh, the second process is to give training to the mappers, mainly the community members. So we have been training the university students as well as community mappers just to give them basics on uh, the tools that are needed for open mapping. Uh, and then those tools are then being uh, used for mapping these areas. Just giving them basic training on GPSs, uh, field papers, uh, applications such as open data kit and open map kit, uh, then they have this knowledge for 
uh, mapping those, the areas. The third uh, process is after training, then we have to go mapping. Like we have to set up uh, everything with the ward officers, then we have to go and collect information from the areas that we, need, we really need to map. So by pairing one university student who is trained um, and is motivated plus one community member, uh, just co to provide local knowledge and also adding information, adding value to the information, then we have been able to map uh, these words, these places that we have been mapping. Uh, the smaller picture is during data collection, and the other one is that after data collection, where uh, the group is just doing digitization of the map and storing the information in OpenStreetMap platform. Uh, one among the key uh, elements of the project is participatory mapping. So we did this uh, in order to validate the information that we have been collecting, mainly the flood prone areas that we, we, we have collected. So we had to go back to the ward officers and other local officials just to validate the information, adding the information, and somehow reducing the information where it was lacking. So this was one among the photos taken in uh, Kigogo uh, with the local officers. And they keep tracing the information to the tracing papers of which we have uh, a map on, to, on, on bottom of it. Uh, basing on the experience of 2011 and 2014 uh, floods. Uh, after everything, then maps are presented to the ward officers as well as the community in general. So this is when uh, the ward officer as well as the community gets their own map after producing it for like three or four weeks. Uh, this is what we, this is what is being uh, given. So this is like just an example of the maps that we now have in most of the words that we mapped. So with everything that we have been doing, uh, we have been able to map more than 21 words. The green words are the words we mapped for like comprehensive mapping, as well as the yellow ones, while the, the blue ones, we are, just, we are just doing drainage mapping of the city, just to get the drainage system of the city, because as we all know that the project is more concerned with flood resilience, of which uh, when you have waterways, when you have flood pond areas, uh, we have flood pond areas, this is crucial for the project. So generally, like the Romani real results, we have mapped 21 words, full mapped, and 36, like I've just said, which is uh, generally home to 3.5 million people. And we have been able to map uh, one, more than 1,000 kilometers of waterways, uh, roads, and the rest of the statistics we can see there. So this is like the situation for nine months. We started in March 2015, which is the, the picture over there, then this is the picture in December 2015. You can see the difference. Before we had like the major roads uh, only mapped, but then we, uh, we added more of the buildings, more of the waterways, more of the information that we have been collecting. And the good part of this is the information is free because it's stored in OpenStreetMap, so it's free, uh, anyone can access and use the information. Uh, this is just another example of what we have been uh, doing. The lower uh, picture is showing the now Dar es Salaam, and the upper one is showing before mapping. One, one among the, the, the major output is getting the drainage system of the city, the well-connected one the, that shows uh, drainage channels, that shows drains, ditches, uh, rivers, uh, the main rivers of the city, as well as these uh, connecting to the ocean. So raising awareness and resilience in our city. Uh, so through the participatory mapping that we did to just validate the information and adding the more information, we are able to produce the inner safe maps uh, that show the, most of the buildings that are inundated and that are not inundated. Like the, you have the commercial, the residential, and, 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 every, and every building that has been affected. One among the major uh, raising awareness activity that we have been doing uh, is making these maps available to the people that really need the map uh, to, take, to make decisions. Uh, the other one is throughout the process because we kept learning from the community so we came to find out uh, most of these uh, waterways, most of the environments have been affected because of poor waste management uh, within these words. So one among the major initiatives that we have been doing is 
raising awareness on general cleanliness of, the, of these environments. Because when you clean up your, your ditch or your drain, when it rains, then the water runs smooth, then we don't have, uh, we don't, actually we, may, we might have floods, but we are trying to reduce uh, the level of flooding and the level of effect that floods have been causing to these people. So this is one among the major activities that we have been doing. Uh, the other one is holding workshops uh, and lectures, mostly in universities that we have been, uh, th that they are, we have been working with and partners. So we had lectures at University of Dar es Salaam for the students taking masters in GIS uh, on the tools, uh, on the uh, use of the maps, and as well as just giving them capacity of uh, using the maps and making the maps as well as we have been uh, conducting mapping parties or map time events, uh, at least one per month. So during these mapping parties, we have these people, these communities, not only the university students, but mostly the people that are much more connected and interested in learning maps and mapping in general. So we have been providing uh, outputs, uh, giving them training and so forth. This is an example of one of the word officers that have been using the maps. These maps have been very useful to these people. I just don't want to talk about that more because you heard them, but uh, they have been uh, witnessing that uh, the more they use the map, as well as the local planning departments uh, in planning and generally in just providing the services to the, to the communities and the people in general. Thank you.